Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. Uh, we are hosting Audencia Business School today with the wonderful Karina, who is here to give you more information about why you should study in France. Um, now, we are here all um, for the rest of this hour, so please do ask questions. We encourage questions throughout our whole webinars. Um, if you can, please put a question in the Q&A box at the bottom of our screen. And to those out on Facebook, please do register at the link below um, to find out more and to access the video with further questions. All right, Karina, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Thank you. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, well. My name is Karina Garcia. I'm the director of international admissions at Adensia Business School. And then today I want to talk to you about like the career development opportunities and the programs that Adensia is offering um, and business management and other specializations uh, in the field. And just to tell you that, well, if you decide to start your application after this webinar, just uh, get in touch with us. I'll, I'll give you the information uh, where to contact us. And then we can waive the application fee uh, if you tell us that you've participated in this event. So as the application fee is 100 euros, so we will wait that for you if you decide to apply for, for our school, whether or not to join us this year, um, then we're offering that free waiver today. Uh, well, Adencia is, um, as, as I just said, it's a business school uh, and located in France in the city of Nantes. Nantes is the sixth largest city in France. Uh, for some people who are familiar with Paris, for example, uh, well, we're two hours from Paris by train. Uh, it's a city with, uh, with quite a lot of development. Um, it's close to a million inhabitants, inhabitants if, uh, if we consider the surroundings of, of the city or the suburbs, as, as, as you can call it. Uh, it's a city with, uh, with a lot of development in terms of uh, input-export industry. Is uh, the, the river La Loire is located by the city. So it's the largest river in France. So historically speaking, is how all the importing into the country um, came through. So therefore, this, uh, there's a lot of history. There's a lot of uh, the... The French history related to castles and vineyards and, and people in this region are very proud of uh, Bretagne and the, the possibilities that have uh, developed in, in Bretagne for, for students, for professionals, for entrepreneurs, uh, for artists. So it's a city with a lot of, uh, a lot of things to offer for every, for every criteria or every field of study. Um, but Dunsey in particular, well, it's, it's a business school that is triple accredited. We're ranked uh, among the one percent of the best uh, of the business schools that are ranked uh, with this triple accreditation. This triple accreditation basically uh, shows what's the the quality and the standards that we go by. We go by um, ACSB and the and Equis, which is American, European, and an international institution, or which is monitoring what is the uh, the quality of the business schools in terms of academics, in terms of the programs, in, ter in terms of the diversity, uh, in terms of, of specialization. So everything is accounted for when applying for this um, accreditations. So Audencia has, has been granted with this triple accreditation since uh, more than 15 years now, uh, meaning that we're always uh, looking to innovate. We're always listening to what our students want to, want to do. Um, most of our professors have, have experience working in the private sector. Therefore, most of the business cases and the and the projects that you will develop during class are very much uh, oriented towards what today's market needs in terms of industry, in terms of employability, in terms of what companies that are partners for the Dempsey have told us they're looking for, for the people that they're hiring, which is really, really important. So we, we can give you all those tools for you to succeed in your, in your career uh, project. Um, we're also ranked uh, with different, within the Financial Times, QS rankings, and CNN expansion. And then uh, this year, 
with uh, what rank 31 and um, and the MBA on the FD rankings. So we're moving up in the rankings on the FD on the Financial Times. So that's something that speaks up for the quality of the programs and the, the commitment and the investment that the school is continuously putting into well our international programs. And of course, into the career development of our graduates. Uh, one of the one of the key aspects that you will find when studying abroad and well in Odensea in particular in this case uh, is the access to a higher network. Uh, that network is is what's going to basically uh, push your your career towards a different direction depending on what you want to do. Um, and then that higher network in Odensea, well, we have over thirty thousand uh, graduates and more than 700 corporate partners. Adensia is an institution who is just celebrated uh, its 120th anniversary. So you can imagine like what's the extent of the, of the network that the school has, not only in France, but internationally. Um, we're very present in Asia. We're very present in South America. We have a campus in China. We have a campus in Brazil. And some of our programs, um, have uh, the possibility to study whether in China or in Brazil. In addition to all the double degree programs uh, and partnerships that the school has with over 70, um, 70 other uh, institutions all over the world. Uh, one aspect that well, we're, we're constantly being asked about is, well, what is the, what is the support from the institution regarding uh, career services and more specifically, well, how can the school support you um, or help you in finding the job that you want to, the, the job that you want to pursue after graduation? So one of, our, one of the key aspects of Adensia is that, well, the internships are mandatory. Um, in order to graduate. Uh, therefore, we have a career services uh, dedicated for you. So there's a team of uh, experts and advisors that are constantly, um, well, are always available. Well, I wouldn't say always, but you have to make an appointment and then you can reach out to them, uh, make an appointment and then have different uh, mock interviews. They can help you with your CV. They can help you with your CV uh, to adapt your CV, depending on what's the industry that you want to target, what's the country. If you want to um, apply for many countries, if you want to apply just in France. So I think all those different uh, variables is very important that you take into consideration when looking for a job or an internship. It's often uh, common that once in France, um, most of our graduate students, they, they decide to, to stay in France for an internship program. And then in most cases, that internship turns into a job offer. Of course, it's depending, of course, on the profile and the, the type of company, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's common. Uh, so 92% of our uh, graduates, they find uh, employment uh, within two months after graduation. Most of our graduates, they start looking for jobs. So we encourage you to start looking for jobs uh, before you graduate, like a few months before you graduate. So you start uh, getting into that job search engine. And then by the time you, you have finished your, your studies, then you, you have something already, you have an offer at least uh, ready for you. We have different tools to, to help you in this, in this job search. Uh, this, there's a platform that centralizes basically all the offers that we receive directly from our corporate partners. And there's also a platform where you can look for what other alumni uh, are doing at the moment. Um, so it's basically like a search engine uh, with our database, uh, which is also um, is, is linked to so LinkedIn, for example. So you can search for, okay, how many people from uh, uh, Vietnam are working in France at the moment in the marketing. And then that tool will give you the exact details of uh, who are these people 
And then moreover, these people have agreed to be contacted by our students. So they can also give you some advice in regards to, well, how do they get this position? Uh, is there any advice about how to prepare for the application process? How to prepare for the interview process? So that's a very powerful tool that is, is very, um, it's very, very useful for, for our graduates, uh, for our students when they're looking for jobs and internships. Um, some of the companies or the corporate partners that we have, uh, well, we have many um, international companies um, that we work with, uh, IBM, L'Oreal, Adidas, Nestle, Microsoft, uh, uh, BMW, there's many, many more. Uh, but just to give you the idea of the, the level of the companies that, that we work with, and most importantly, well, companies that are uh, constantly recruiting graduates from Audencia. I mean, they, we also have some career fairs uh, during the year, two or three during the year, uh, where you can meet with a representative from the company and then you can, you can bring your CV and you can have like a little chat around what are the job opportunities or the type of openings that the company may have. And it's important for you to start getting um, active on, on that. On that, um, on that end. Well, what are the programs that Audencia offers specifically? Well, we offer undergraduate programs, uh, bachelor in management and big data management. Um, the difference is mostly the specialization in data management and the bachelor in management is, is more like a generalist program, but we also offer specializations in different fields, marketing, corporate finance, um, uh, innovation and entrepreneurship, uh, sustainability. We have different elected courses. So it's a program that is very much adapted to what you want to do. Um, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of flexibility around the courses that you can do or want to do. Um, you can also learn French um, and that is across all our programs. Okay, you can learn French while you're studying. And well, that will give you well, an additional um, added value on your CV as well. Uh, we have the master's programs in general management, which is the master uh, in management or what's known in France as Grand Ecole. Uh, it's a two year program. Uh, also, well, in, the, in these two years, you can also apply for uh, double degrees or exchange programs abroad. Uh, and the master in management and engineering is, is a little bit shorter. Uh, it's, it's a year and a half, but you have to take some summer courses in order to finish earlier. And well, management and engineering is mostly um, for those who have done engineering. It doesn't matter what kind of engineering. Um, it's really to add those manage the management um, knowledge or the management uh, soft skills for those who have done engineering a, as their previous education. And well, it really complements, uh, oh, adds a lot of value to your profile when applying for jobs, because then you have both, you have uh, management and you are a specialist in, in the engineering type of, um, in the engineering field. Uh, MSc in International Management is a, is a one year program also as a generalist program in international management is a shorter version uh, compared to the two-year program in Granicol. Uh, the difference is mostly in Granicol, there are certain specialization or elective courses that you can take. Uh, European and international business management is a, is a program in cooperation with two partner institutions in Spain and uh, the UK. So here the, the requirement is that you have to speak English, Spanish, and French. Um, but it's, it's, it's a very, um, it, it's a very big program in terms of the experience. We have specialized masters uh, in food and agribusiness, uh, which includes uh, three, uh, four weeks in Brazil uh, to work in a project with our partner institution FECAP in Sao Paulo data management for finance and supply chain and purchasing management, which is really, really popular. And it's, it's, it's in trend today with, uh, 
what the world is, is facing in terms of uh, so that change shortage in certain countries. So as, as it's a very, very complete program and it's very adapted to today's uh, needs in the market. Uh, in terms of executive education, we have the full-time MBA, uh, one-year program. Uh, there's also different specializations that you can choose. Uh, the chief value officer, which is an executive MBA, um, there's only a few weeks of classes during the year, and the DBA, which is a doctor in business administration. Feel free to add your questions, and uh, I'll, I'll get more into, I can answer more details about uh, the programs specifically. Uh, all our programs are taught in English um, or in French. Um, the master in management is also taught in French. Uh, the English uh, proficiency level uh, is mandatory as an entry requirement. It's a TOEFL 78, um, IELTS uh, 6.0. We also uh, take TOEIC. Uh, we can make exceptions uh, in terms of Duolingo, so you can apply with uh, having done the Duolingo test, and then depending on the program, the Master in Management and Master in Engineering, then we might ask you to take another test later on, but once you've been accepted. So you have been accepted and you can reserve your place right after acceptance. But for the MBA, um, the GRE or GMAT or other quantitative tests are optional, uh, well, let's say it's up on the profile of the of the candidate. Um, normally, we ask candidates uh, to take the test when they have a profile that is completely unrelated to business or management. So for example, if you if you studied science or something that is completely or have no professional experience whatsoever in a field related to management, then we may ask you to take the test. If not, uh, I would say 90% of the candidates that we receive, uh, we waive the GMAT test. Um, native speakers, uh, native English speakers uh, don't have to take the test, or if you've done your previous education completely in English, we can waive the English test in, in terms of the admission process. How to apply? Uh, well, all our programs uh, start in September. Uh, all the courses are planned to be in person. The only reason why we have uh, the possibility to do virtual courses is if the conditions are not allowing us to conduct classes in person. Uh, however, it's less and less of the probability of that happening. Uh, so everything is uh, prepared for you to come to France and have the international experience and have the exposure and have the contact with the with the student body and the, the services that the school has to offer in Nantes. Um, the process is, is quite simple. Everything is online. You can uh, search for the program or the specifics of the program uh, on our website at audencia.com. We have a link directly to our application online, which is applyaudencia.com. And then you will see that the application um, application online is, is quite uh, straightforward. It's personal information. You upload the documents um, related to your transcripts and your, your diploma and any other additional uh, information you feel it's relevant for us to consider in order to get accepted into the program. So for example, if you've, done, if you've done any volunteering, if you've done any extracurricular courses, if you're an athlete, if, if there's anything else that you consider is um, of value um, for your, your, your overall profile, then just you can just add it on the application form. The application fee is 100 euros. And as I said, well, if you mentioned that you uh, participated in this webinar today, we can waive the application fee. Um, so that, that will be for free. And then uh, within the application form, there's also a questionnaire related to scholarships. And then you can apply for scholarship and write an essay regarding what's the scholarship that you want to be considered for within that same application. And we have an admission, uh, an admission board within uh, every two weeks. Therefore, you normally receive an answer within uh, 
one to ten, one to two weeks after you you have um, you have submitted your application, and then uh, you will be informed by one of our international admissions managers uh, about well what's the process to 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 continue forward uh, if you are called for an interview. In some cases, we you don't have to take you don't have to do an interview, and then once you have. Uh, once you have been accepted and you receive your confirmation of acceptance, you have to uh, confirm your place uh, by paying a deposit of 1,500 euros. And that's the only amount of money that you have to pay before coming to France. The tuition fees are in average uh, 12,000 euros per year, uh, depending on the program, I'm just uh, overall. Uh, for the bachelor, of course, it's, it's 8,000 euros. It, it depend, depends on the program. So let's say that you choose the bachelor in international management, and then the first year of tuition fees is 8,000 euros. Uh, you pay 1,500 euros as a deposit to reserve your place. Uh, we send you all the necessary documents to, for you to process your, your visa and to start looking for accommodation and all the necessary arrangements to come to France. And then once you come to France, there's a payment schedule. Uh, there's by installments. So there's every this by trimester or by master, you decide upon that payment schedule. And then the first installment of the tuition fees should be shortly after you have started the program in France. Um, and then that's that's how that's how the process works. Um, and of course, there's always somebody uh, in our team in admissions uh, and the international department that is there to help you with any questions along the process or about the visa application, anything you need to know related to how to get to France. In terms of scholarships, uh, this is a quick uh, view of what we have on our website, audencia.com. You will see different uh, different types of scholarships uh, and then depending on the program sometimes. So I encourage you to visit our website to look at the program of your interest and then to see what is the financing uh, or scholarships available. Uh, sometimes it's uh, Audencia um, sponsored, sometimes in some countries there's other sources of, of financial aid that you can uh, have access to. It's not um, if you have a, a scholarship with Odensia, you can have all the scholarships as well. So the idea is for you to really build your financial aid package. So our scholarships go from uh, the early application discount. Is if you apply before January 31st, uh, we will give you a discount of 1,500 euros automatically uh, from the tuition fees. And then on top of that, you can apply as well for another scholarship um, and then what the deadlines uh, the sooner you apply the, the sooner you apply the better because it's a first come first serve meaning that at the beginning of the year we have less applications and we have more budget to allocate um, and then as the as the year goes on and then we keep receiving more and more applications for September um, let's say that our funding will be will be more limited so i really encourage you to apply um, as soon as possible and then once you have your acceptance letter and your offer for for scholarship and all of that then you can start preparing for the logistics and what it implies to come to france and then we're here to help you throughout the process uh, and then sure you decide not to to, to transfer to to next year, you can do that as well. We can respect the same conditions this year. Um, but I really encourage you to, to apply for September 2022. And the, the very uh, deadline, the, the, the deadline to apply for the September intake is May 30th uh, for international students. So you would still have time to uh, apply for visas and about to start preparing for coming to France uh, and all the logistics are in place. 
Uh, well, I'm happy to answer your questions. Uh, here's our email address. Uh, please contact us at international at audencia.com. And then we will be happy to answer all your questions. Um, uh, well, we, we can see if we can answer some of your questions right now. Hi, great. Thank you so much for your presentation. Just leave the questions up um, on the um, screen of your information, just in case anyone wants to get in touch. Um, so that we do have a few questions in the Q&A box. Let's begin. Hi, can I gain advice in how to approach interviews? This could be, I guess, admission interviews or uh, work interviews. Uh, but yes, of course. Well, it, it would depend on, on the program that you want to apply for. So what I would recommend is that you reach out to us uh, telling us what's the program that you want to apply for, and then we can give you specific advice about what the program director is looking for. Uh, what I can say, like across all our programs, is that the motivation um, is key. Uh, so we really want to know what why you want to study abroad, where you want to come to France, and what is your career, uh, what your career development project. So, so we can help you in achieving those goals. Right, and are there opportunities to network? I'm sorry? Are there opportunities to network with of future course. employers? Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Well, as I said, well, we have this um, um, tool that we use with uh, to contact um <clears throat> alumni students and then you can specifically narrow your search towards okay which nationality which program which company which industry which field so that helps you um having an idea of what's the people that you can start contacting and, and will give you advice regarding your um your career expectations so i i say that's a very powerful um network and then i have to say our alumni is always very keen to help um, we have a lot that, that database of alumni that are always keen to help. And we also have a student blog that is on our website. Um, so you can go on our website right now. And then, for example, if you are interested in the mastery management, there are some students that are currently doing the mastery management that are uh, answering questions regarding, you know, the student life and the school. So you can get also some uh, perspective from a current student about what's their experience today in, in Odensea Nantes. They won't answer your specifics about admissions, but that's what our team is, is there for. But um, I, I think it's very valuable that you have that access to talk to one or two students in, in our cohort at the moment. Oh yes, 100%. And what would you advise is helpful for making my application stand out? Um, I would say um, use the key elements that you where, where you excel. So sometimes it's not only about your grades, but it's, for example, if you're a good student, that's great. We would love having good students, of course, but it's important that you you identify yourself in which which area you think you you excel. For example, well, I'm a good student, but I'm also uh, I'm also a good athlete, or I'm also uh, very engaged with uh, with CSR or with the uh, sustainability um, activities around the school, or I like to volunteer in such and such type of event. So those type of things that uh, what we <clears throat> we think are important to for us to know about you that it's, uh, it speaks more of you personally rather than just general view of your grades and and good student. Yes, of course. Um, do I need to know <clears throat> French? Can I study this at the school if need be? Uh, no, you don't need to know French. Uh, the programs are taught completely in English. We have an international department that is here to, to welcome you. Um, also, well, you will learn French once you, you get to France. I mean, we encourage our students to, to take the advantage of the optional French courses that we offer. Uh, but the, the courses are in English, the professors are bilingual. Uh, we have many native speak, English native speakers. Um, there's different nationalities within our international team. So no, uh, the French is not, uh, it's not necessary for, for you to come. Of course. And will I gain help in terms of the visa process? Uh, yes, uh, we have connections with the, with Campus France offices and then our, our team of, advice, of advisors 
uh, can give you some elements of uh, what, what the what the consulates are looking for. And then in general, I would say it's, uh, it's, it's gotten better in terms of the information that Campus France uh, is looking for um, when applying for the visas. Uh, but yes, we, we will give you some advice in that end as well. Great. And do I need to have my COVID vaccination before arrival or can I get this on campus? Uh, well, we don't have a vaccination uh, site on campus, um, and that's not really up to the school to decide. It's really about the what the governments are um, imposing as a, as a condition to travel internationally speaking. So France at the moment is, is requiring um, a negative PCR test mm -hmm. in order to in order to come to France, especially if you're a student. Um, you need to take a test in uh, 24 hours or 48 hours uh, maximum before you travel, and then you have to take a test once you're in France. And yes, once you get to France, you can get an appointment to get the vaccine. Okay, perfect. And lastly, how welcoming is France to international students? Well, I would say it's very welcoming. Well, I, I don't speak from my experience. I mean, I, I came to France as an international student some years ago. Um, and I've, I've found it very uh, welcoming in terms of the proximity to reach out to people or people available to answer questions or people willing to help to get me settled in. Uh, there's of course certain aspects about the bureaucracy in France that I, I believe is, is something that we have to deal with in every country, regardless of our nationality. Yeah. But it's it's important to know that well, especially once you come to Densiana as an international student, the student uh, support system, the internationals always also there to help you, let's say navigate throughout different. Um, bureaucracy or, or certain processes on an administrative level. Um, in, other, in terms of adapting to the city, I would say that Nantes is a very international city. I mean, I lived in other cities in, in France, like Paris, like Grenoble, like Lyon. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have to say that Nantes is, is, uh, has a different vibe. It's, it's very um, cultural and art, art um, oriented. So therefore it brings people from a lot of nationalities and there's always cultural and art or music events that are available for all nationalities. So I, I think you, you don't feel like you're left out as an international, even if you don't speak French. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for all of your answers to the questions. And thank you guys for joining and asking the questions. Um, as previously stated, all of the information right now is on the screen for you to be able to reach out to Audencia, and they will also be reaching out to you as well. Um, for those who have registered um, for the webinar, please do note that we will be getting in touch with you very soon to uh, find out more about you. All right, is there any last words from you, Karina? Uh, well, thank you for, for attending this uh, this webinar today. Um, again, I encourage you to, to apply as early as possible. And then once you have your acceptance letter, um, I think that the, your mind is already thinking and, and being in a different place. So that's something that I, I think is just a very, um, it's a very important tool. So the sooner that you apply, the sooner that you're already feeling that you're getting there. And it's a motivation for you to start looking into what's what's needed to get to that goal, which is studying in France. Um, and then please get in touch with us. Uh, our international department is, is, is there to help you, is there to advise you. Um, and yeah, we're, we're here to answer any questions. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. And don't forget to visit viva-mondo.com for more information on study abroad opportunities. Bye-bye. Thank you.